Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome video. So let's get cracking. Friends, I've been a fan of the Domino Pixel Art. This is going to be another Pixel Art starter, and hopefully you'll be successful and be able to find my contest and get a submission created. Now, in this starter, I am giving you this domino. I want you to use it because it is going to be a shape. That means you can use more of them, and Tinkercad will not slow down as much. Now, if you want to keep this forever, let me show you what you do. Simply click on your creations, have this selected, and hit Create Shape. It'll load. Give it a name. I'm going to call this Domino. You could tag it. I do not lock the part size, and then hit Save Shape. It'll show up here, and from then on, every project you start, of course, load at basic shapes, but if you switch to your creations, there will be your domino. Now, I already made this domino, so I'm going to delete the extra one. That's how easy it is to get rid of parts if you don't need them. Now, let me show you the trick for making domino pixel art. First, set your snap grid to five nudges. Second, make your world a lot bigger. I'm going to go all the way to 1,000 by 1,000 so that it's huge. That is the largest you can make. This gives you so much area to play with. And then I'm going to start my project from back here, but I am going to leave room for a launcher. I like to do my launcher with the basic shape of a wedge. I'm going to bring that in and stretch it just so you can see how it's going to turn out. Now the next thing is to pick the piece of pixel art you're going to build from. Now my strategy is simply to go to Google, type clip art and the item you want, and then also if you make it black and white, it gives you the outline. Friends, here's your domino project. You could do the outline, then you could do the stem, and you could do a leaf. Once you've got this little vision, you're good to go. Say you want it to be a rocket. If you change this word to rocket, of course, hit search. Check this out. You have got the outline of a rocket and then the cool pieces you could all build with dominoes. So many options like this. I had somebody share one that was hot chocolate. If we do hot chocolate, black and white, you could see how you could make a mug. I would probably go with the simplest mug and then you could make something inside to look like hot chocolate maybe even this one right here now i'm going to go back to that apple just because i think that's a cool starter project and i'm just going to do this outline watch this so this domino needs to turn 90 degrees and we're going to make the bottom of that apple now i'm going to give it a custom twist I'm just doing 15 degrees. I don't know the perfect number, but I think that's going to be pretty neat. Now here's the magic. Because of our 5 millimeter nudge, we can do Control D and three clicks forward, one click down. And when we do a tiny twist, so I'm rotating five or six degrees, watch this, the next Control D, because I didn't click anywhere else, it does that move and it does the twist as I start to make the bottom of my apple. Can you see that curve there, friends? So I'm going to click somewhere else and I'm going to make this turn a little faster. So once again, I'm going to do a little custom rotation. There's five or seven degrees. Now here's my control D. I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to do one, two. And I'm going to rotate it a certain number of degrees. Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know the right number, but we just do control D and start testing. So that's the bottom of my apple. Now I want it to go a little more straight up. So I'm going to click on this one and straighten it just a little. See how it's always five or seven degrees. Control D, one, two, three up. I'm going to continue with that tiny nudge. I should have made this go a little wider, but I'm just going to work with it like this. Not quite perfect, but you can see the idea and hopefully you guys can make yours more incredible. And there we've moved up a little more. Let's see if we can finish this one. I'm going to make this a big turn this time. So I'm doing like 15, 20 degrees. Now control D, three nudges over, one, two, three, 
two nudges up. Once again, I'm just experimenting. And this time I'm going to turn a full 18 degrees. Control D, D, D. That I don't think worked because I really want it to line up with the middle. So I'm going to just delete those. Let's try it again. Control D. One, two, three. One, two, three. Still experimenting. 19 degrees. Control D. Control D. I'm going to just stop and do this manually. Straighten it out. Control D. One, two, three. And down one. I think I can do four. Control D. Control D. Check it out. There is my halfway part. Are you ready for this, everybody? Select it all. Control D. Shift nudge to the other side. I don't think I need that launcher, but I do need to click mirror on this, and we have got an apple. How crazy is that? Now, if you want people to know it's an apple, what you could do is make these red. I'm going to move this away. There's my red apple. Of course, I would make a stem and leaf. You could have a little hole for a worm. You can have as much fun with this as you want. Of course, you do need to make a way to launch it. I did not have this planned when I started, but check out how easy this works out. Simply nudge and align this so it's centered on those two dominoes. And I'm going to bring this sphere out and I'm going to set it right here. And then the theory is that's going to hit these two dominoes and trigger my apple shape. Let's take it to SimLab and give it a test. Takes a moment to load. We do need to take this piece and make it so that it is static. Let's hit play. Boom. That, my friends, is Apple Pixel Art Dominoes. How cool is that? Of course, I can hit pause, slide it back, watch it all come together. And friends, this is how you make your awesome pixel art projects. And here's my final upgraded version. Friends, you can see the mechanisms. It works all the way around, and it's so much fun. Looking forward to seeing the cool designs you share as well. Friends, once your project is working, don't forget you do need to share it with me. And I do need to be able to test it, so we need to share it a special way. Step one is to click the collaborate button. Once you click that, generate a link, copy that link. And then in the pixel art contest, you simply share it to this location right here. When you click on it, notice it does not collect any emails. You just do control V to paste in that design link. Make sure you never add anything else. Uh, of course, give me your username so that I can track you down in Tinkercad. And of course, down at the bottom, you can add a note before you hit submit. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. On the left, you'll also find day one starters. You'll also find some of my favorites and Tinkercad essentials. On the bottom right-hand corner, friends, you will find a built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the link to the Tinkercad. CAD community discord as you can see we've got more than 800 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad and of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.